Hey everybody and welcome back to the StarCraft 2 tournament from the Montana State University Hive Mind. My name is Evolution Gaming Woodhouse and I am bringing you another loser's bracket match between Liberator and Dr. Zerg as we saw in last game. Liberator just holding off the 7 roach push. A little bit of miscontrol by Dr. Zerg but leading into his ultimate demise as we did see Dr. Zerg go down with a deficit of 0 to 1 to Liberator. We're going to have to see in this game if he does manage to come back and I will make sure my music is on this time so you guys just don't have to listen to the sound of my voice. Sorry. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and take it right into the game that is looking like it is going to be played on GSL's Belcher Beach Winter. Spawning up here in the top left corner we have our purple Zerg player who is looking to get back into this series Right now, down 0-1 to Liberator, we have Dr. Zerg. And without any real real further introduction, we have our green Protoss player spawning over here in the bottom right side. We have Liberator. Ooh, a little bit of the BM there by Liberator. Sending out the unusually early drone scout. I don't know if that was a 7 scout or what, what the deal was. Dr. Zerg just dishing it right back. Looking like he's going to go for a proxy pylon. Is he going to go over the rainbow and try and cannon rush? Because that would definitely make my day if he went over the rainbow to cannon rush that main knowing that he can only get to here. But we're going to have to see if that happens. The drone from Dr. Zerg definitely making the laps in this game, as you can see here by the many queued waypoints. We do see a proxy gateway going down for Liberator. It, we did see him do this on this map <coughs> to, I believe it was Headshot last week. We saw him do it down here in this base, actually. <coughs> we do see a second gateway going down now. So this is going to be just a proxy 2-gate. Is he going to just run in with some zealots? Try and end it early. Try and take the series 2-0. Dr. Zerg also in this game. And Liberator. Liberator, you, you need to hit your E key, buddy. E and then C. E and then C. There's E. Now we're C. Apparently he's saving that Chrono Boost for something. For what? I'm not sure. The first gateway just now finishing for him up here. The second two are going to be just a little delayed. Not that big of a deal. We do see a spawning cool coming down now for Dr. Zerg. It is about a quarter of the way done. And that was a nice chrono boost on the one zealot. Okay, so we do have an idea of what he's using his chrono boost for now. That's always good. The Overlord coming over here. Does Dr. Zerg actually know? No, he does not. He has not scouted anything past that. Is he going to take a proxy hatch? That would be kind of fun. Both players dead even in supply right now. We do just see more zealots coming out. We can see right now that the lack of probing by Liberator has actually caused him not to be able to produce out all these gateways right away. We see his money bouncing quite a bit, and he is still not making probes. He's trying to cheese, but failing, kind of. The only salvation for him at this point is that Dr. Zerg has not scouted him, or the two or three zealots running in the front door. Oh, and not able to get this around with those zerglings. The three zealots running in, trying to do the damage that they can. The queen about to pop. Four doctors are going ahead and just working on those drones, but not able to get the surround on the drones. That's a terrible position for those drones to be in. There's going to be a bunch of drones lost there as he loses almost all of his entire worker line. The very, very late spine crawler going to be able to be picked off by these uh, zealots. Wow. And the BM. And the BM. More Zerglings getting taken down 2-gate Zealot. Try more like 3 proxy fail gate by not making probes and supply blocking yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and take down that spawning pool now, continuing to just chat it up with Dr. Zerg. Dr. Zerg a very nice guy. Very, very nice guy. I like him. It's okay, Dr. Zerg. Not everybody cheeses. It is okay. Liberator is saying that's what you get for picking a map with no ramp. Liberator, I hate to say this, buddy, but there's a ramp right there. That That is technically your ramp in this map. That is an opening. That is your ramp. So that actually does have a ramp. So a little bit of the uh, failed BM 
there by Liberator, as we, we did see last week, he did DM a little bit. I would, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I, I am going to enjoy watching to see what happens to Liberator next week's matches. It does look like at this point, Liberator is going to move forward and uh, face off against one of the winners of the other matches this week. I actually get the vibe that Liberator is kind of a, I almost want to say a failed Combat X. If anybody hasn't seen any of Combat X's fail videos, definitely go check those out. Shenanigans like this happen all the time. That's right, Dr. Zerg, no matter for you. That's right, you stand up for that stuff, Dr. Zerg. So we do see with the failed BM slash kind of fail proxy into supply block yourself build. Liberator does go ahead and clean that game up, taking the series 2-0 over Dr. Zerg. That does mean that Liberator is going to move forward.